Hello everyone, it's Jessica Wilkinson, your Young Adult Services Librarian, and for this week's Teen Book Talk, I'm going to discuss some of the books that you should check out this summer. So let's get started. I'm a Jean, Obviously, by Becky Albertalli. I'm a Jean Scott, maybe hopelessly heterosexual, but she's got the world's greatest ally title, Locked Down. She's never missed a Pride Alliance meeting. She knows more about queer media discourse than her very queer little sister. She even has two queer best friends. There's Gretchen, a fellow high school senior, who helps keep Imogene's biases in check. And then there's Lily, newly out and newly thriving, with a cool new squad of college friends. Imogene's thrilled for Lily, any ally would be. And now that she's finally visiting Lily on campus, she brings her ally A game. Any support Lily needs, Imogene's all in. Even if that means bending the truth, just a little. Like when Lily drops a tiny queer bombshell, she's told all her college friends that Imogene and Lily used to date. And none of them know that Imogene is a raging hetero. Not even Lily's best friend, Tessa. Of course, the more time Imogene spends with chaotic, freckle-faced Tessa, the more she starts to wonder if her truth was ever all that straight to begin with. The next book I'm going to talk about is All the Dead Lie Down by Kyrie McCulley. The Haunting of Bly Manor meets House of Salt and Sorrows, an award-winning author Kyrie McCulley's contemporary YA gothic romance about a dark family lineage, the ghosts of grief, and the lines will cross for love. The sleeping house was very much awake. Days after a tragedy leaves Marin Blythe alone in the world. She receives a surprising invitation from Alice Lovelace an acclaimed horror writer and childhood friend of Marin's mother. Alice offers her a nanny position at Lovelace House, the family's coastal main estate. Marin accepts and soon finds herself minding Alice's peculiar girls. Thea buries her dolls one by one, hosting a series of funerals while Wren does everything in her power to drive Marin away. Then, Alice's eldest daughter returns home unexpectedly. Evie Howell is every bit as strange as her younger sisters, and yet Marin is quickly drawn in by Evie's compelling behavior and ethereal grace. But as Marin settles in, she can't escape the anxiety that follows her like a shadow. Dead birds appear in Marin's room. The children's pranks escalate. Something dangerous lurks in the woods, leaving mutilated animals in its wake. All is not well at Lovelace House, and Marin must unravel its secrets before they consume her. The last book I'm going to talk about today is Spice Road by Maya Ibrahim. In the hidden desert city of Quilia, secret spice magic awakens affinities in those who drink the Misra tea. With an affinity for iron, 17-year-old Imani wields a dagger like no other warrior, garnering her the reputation as the next greatest shield for battling the dangerous jinn, ghouls, and other monsters that lurk in the sands beyond city limits. Her reputation has been overshadowed, however, by her brother who tarnished the family name after he was discovered stealing their nation's coveted spice, a telltale sign of magical obsession. He disappeared soon after, believed to have died beyond the forbidden wastes, and leaving Imani reeling with both betrayal and grief. But 
when Imani uncovers evidence that her brother may be alive and spreading their nation's magic beyond the desert. She strikes a deal with the council to find him and bring him back before he can reveal the city's location. Accompanying by Quain, a roguish but handsome genie, and Taha, a powerful beast seer, whose magical talents are matched only by his arrogance, they set out on their mission. Imani will soon discover there are many secrets that lie beyond the forbidden wastes, and in her own heart. But will she find her brother before he betrays and danger the fates of all of Qualia? These are just three of the great summer reads that you should check out and enjoy your summer. Thank you.